Continuing on with the bow tree of the Amazon, we have the cornerstones of what is known as the Mage Zon in Diablo 2, with the Frost Maiden version using Freezing Arrows and the Fire Maiden using Exploding Arrow and sometimes Immolation Arrow. Now, the reason these are separate from the rest of the elemental skills is because they have a very often misunderstood mechanic that is shared among all three of them, and that is the reason why exploding and freezing arrows are a lot more powerful than they seem at first glance. Starting off with what is probably the most popular to talk about with this mechanic due to it being available as an auto mod on certain weapons, we have Exploding Arrow, a skill that also tends to trump even its higher level skill due to a lack of cooldown making it a lot more spammable for damage per second concerns. This is amplified by the common mechanic between these three skills, and that is how damage carryover works on them. For Exploding Arrow, it will carry over fire damage from skills like Enchant and Holy Fire, as well as the various pieces of gear you wear with extra fire damage, and not only apply them to the arrow itself, but also apply this damage to the explosion too. This was heavily exploited in early Lord of Destruction patches, since additional sources added additional radius back then as well, though even with that particular exploit patched out decades ago, the skill still is able to carry its own weight due to this bump in damage, especially on characters that can stack a lot of fire damage. Now the thing to remember for these skills is your focus will be that explosion damage, not your arrow damage. This is because not only is the arrow's listed explosion damage only added to its area of effect, the explosion itself is essentially a spell damage source, so not even most blocking functions will stop it. So you get a lot more benefit from getting this amount as high as possible, and this is exactly how exploding arrow weapons work as well. Though it is worth noting that if you want chain explosions with pierce through any of these skills or items, you do still want to keep your attack rating at a reasonable level, since to actually pierce, you do need to hit the enemy with the arrow. Failing to hit but still getting the pierce will only result in ghost explosions, not actual damage. That said, a skill where these pierce explosions are actually really important is the often maligned Immolation Arrow, which gets a bad reputation due to its extended cooldown without the damage increase to compensate for it. The reason you want the pierce explosion effect on it is so you can essentially create an extended firewall of pain out of the resulting Immolation effect. And while the explosion itself carries the fire damage from the rest of your gear and abilities, the ground fire does not. And this is not helped by the fact that generally the ground fire is going to do a bit less damage than you expect unless the target is a fairly large size 3 opponent. For me, the main reason I keep this on the bar for my hybrid mage zon is for the occasional small damage bump, and I almost never actually use it at low or mid player counts since I can just be lazy with exploding arrow in those cases. The third and final skill of the trio is all the way on the other side of the tree, and that's Freezing Arrow. Now, while Exploding and Immolation take fire damage with them, Freezing Arrow takes cold, so obviously Enchant and such is not going to do much for it, but Holy Freeze, Raven Frost, and a handful of other items will boost the area of effect damage. And since this has decent damage naturally, these boosts are more just helpful than necessary for the skill to shine. The other nice thing about Freezing Arrow is explicitly in its name. It freezes stuff, and any cold length effects you have will add to that freeze duration. So not only can you do decent damage, you will prevent yourself from taking nearly as much damage since you can shut down so many enemies with it. The only drawback of this skill is the sheer amount of mana you will burn with it, since like Exploding Arrow, this skill has no cooldowns, so you can spam it to your heart's content, but it does get pretty mana hungry. Now, one thing I have not mentioned through all of this is the big reason I really like these skills, outside of the naturally unblockable area of effect explosion, and that is because they are so hybrid friendly it's ridiculous. Since to get decent damage out of them for a hybrid skill, it only takes 40 points, plus the prerequisites. With Freezing Arrow and Ice Arrow, or Exploding Arrow and Fire Arrow being the main investments to maximize their damage. This leaves you plenty of points to either go into a hybrid bow build with physical or even each other, it lets you invest into a high level Valkyrie if you want, or even go into a fishy zon or a javelin bow hybrid if you don't mind swapping weapons every few seconds. Overall, while these skills could use a little love of the rebalancing wand to make them more potent and reliable, they're still fairly decent skills with a lot of mileage and fun to be had. If you're interested in the skills most people choose to hybrid with one of these bow skills, check out the video on screen now, and as always, keep gaming, have fun, and peace out. This has been Alzrath. Bye.